Hey fishies! So today I have a Sephora haul for you all and I am so excited. I love hauling. Um, I got a big Mama Jamma Sephora bag and then I have two little baby Sephora bags. Um, again, as always with most of my uh, hauls, they are collected over like a month. I usually have a little little stash in my closet. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So we'll start with the big Mama Jamma bag. Um, so the first thing I got, I should actually probably scoot closer so you guys can see what I'm getting. Okay, so the first thing I got are these pear cone vitamins. Um, well, let's say they're dietary supplements, but tomato, tomato. Um, and I got them for the hair and nails. They have hair and nails, skin, and like, I don't know, they have like a bunch of them. They are really pricey, and I actually started taking them, as you can see. I only have about half of them left, but they do come like this. It comes in, you get you take three, well, technically you take four of these a day. You start with this one, then this, then this. And you take them with your meal, and apparently it's supposed to help your hair grow, it's supposed to help your nails grow. It's just a, I know, gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. That is so, it is distracting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys, so I'm sorry. I wore a necklace one time into the tanning bed, like literally, and it's never tan. I need to just put makeup on it. I didn't realize how distracting it was until I actually start filming the video. But anyways, my phone is vibrating. Okay. Stop. Can you guys hear that? You guys probably can't even hear that. Anyways, so I heard these were great. Every review I've read has said it's just like it works. It's worth the price. Hopefully it does. I was a big fan of like the biotin and biotin is really cheap it's supposed to do the same thing but I just really wanted my hair to grow more I actually had a bad person bleach at one time and they went over it and over it and it, it just it really just damaged my hair and this was a couple months ago so I'm really working hard to restore it um the next thing I got uh, I picked up the two Oz palettes um I was like kind of holding off on them. I didn't know. Well, one, I didn't think I really needed another palette, but they were a limited edition, and a lot of times I regret not picking up the limited edition. Oh, is there something else in there? No, it's just a card. Oh, nope. There it comes with a high gloss lip color, which is very pretty. It's like red. Um, so I'll just open this up for you. I'm sure you guys have seen these. I do love Urban Decay palettes and their shadows, so I went ahead and I got, this is the is it, yeah, the Theodora palette, and I loved it. I you, like even now I'm wearing like greens and browns on my eyes, so I really did like the shimmery dark colors of that. Um, but the person at Sephora is like, oh, I just love the Glinda palette, and so I kind of he kind of talked me into getting this one as well. And this is just more shimmers and lighter uh, eye colors, but I did love the pink purple, the top line right there. That was really pretty. So I did go ahead and pick those up. Did I really need more eyeshadow palettes? No. I'm really like trying not to buy eyeshadow palettes just because I do have so many of them. And then um, the last thing in this bag is, well, I have one more thing, but it's not from Sephora. This is the It's a 10, the travel size one. It's a Miracle Leap. And I got it from Namie's, but I love this stuff. Um, I just happened to throw it in there. But um, this I got is the Philosophy Vanilla Cream Topping Lotion. You guys, this smells just like a cake. I have smelt this. Oh my gosh, I have smelled this so many times, and I just, I guess, oh, hello. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells just like cake. Oh my gosh. Cake, 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 cake. I mean, it's just, I love it. Every time I went to the store, I would put this on, and I would, like, die over it. I'm just a foodie girl. I just love food scents so much. Oh my gosh. This is the best lotion scent ever. Again, I don't, I need lotions. Like, I need a hole in my head. I don't need it, is the way that was going. Um, did I get a sample? Yeah, it looks like there's a sample of Kate Somerville. I don't know. I don't really need that one. Okay, so going into the littler bags. Um, oh, wow, there's a lot in this one. Okay, so I picked up this Perfect Skin Perfection Gel. Um, so my hairstylist, the one that I love, who normally does my hair and is awesome at it, um, was telling me about this stuff. It, she uses it as a primer for her foundation because she uses full coverage. Oh, there it is. Um, but the guy at the store was saying, like, it's actually perfect for, like, a foundation. And so it comes like this, and you just squirt a little. Hold on, I'll show you the consistency of it. Okay. So there is how it goes on, and then you just sort of blend it out. And I did buy a shade darker as before you guys all freak out. But there it is blend, blended out. It just looks really nice. And I think for summer it's perfect. 
I don't know why I'm smelling it. I guess I'm smelling my hands still. Um... Let me see the actual use for this because, like I said, my hairstylist is used as a primer. I am going to use it more as like a BB cream, um, sheer color gel, and enhances the appearance of the skin, offering an alternative to traditional foundation, primer, color correction, and powder. So it's just supposed to improve your skin tone, help hydration, reduce the appearance of redness. So use after moisturizer, pat onto face and neck, smooth with fingertips, use sparingly, easily. Yeah, so it spreads, it blends easily. I mean, you can kind of use it as however. There's no one way to use a makeup product. Well, I mean, there is. I mean, you don't want to use this as an eyeshadow, but, um, you know, kind of just use it as you want. I did get the shade Radiant, which is pretty dark for summer, um, but as you guys can tell, I am tanning crazy tanning. Hopefully this goes away in the summer. This is going to be so embarrassing, people. I know people already think I have a disease on YouTube, but I do not need anyone in my real life to be, I don't think it shows up this bad in real life. It's just, it's crazy. I'm sorry. I will have makeup on it in my next video. Promise that. This I got with my $500, um, you know, if you're a beauty insider, or 500 points, sorry. Um, I don't really, I kind of regret getting this because a week later they had the Buxom, um, gift set like this, but it's a smoky eye essentials, um, just like a Sephora brand smoky eye, uh, you know, they don't have this anymore because it's, it was like part of the perks program. So I guess there's really no benefit in showing you other than you might be curious. But it's all a bunch of sample sizes. I'm curious. That's why I opened it. <laughs> Let me just do what pleases me. Yeah. So it's just a bunch of, like I said, sample sizes, which I don't really need any more sample sizes since I have... Oh my gosh, look how tiny that shadow is. <laughs> that is a tiny shadow. But yeah, it's just got like makeup remover, eyeliner, mascara, and I think this must be a primer. Yes, shadow primer. Okay. I did pick up these uh, blotting papers, and yeah, I should probably be using them now. My face has been getting so greasy, and I think it's because of the change of the seasons. It's getting warmer here, and yeah, I think that's why. Then I picked up the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Brown Bronzer, and um, I'm kind of straying away from Too Faced because my sister's lips broke out from Too Faced lipstick, and then Bunny here on YouTube was saying like the palettes kind of made her eyes break out, so... I've been staying away from it, even though I used to love Too Faced, um, and they never broke me out. So, anyways, I decided to go ahead and get this, because everyone was saying it smells just like hot chocolate, and it is a matte bronzer, meaning there's no shimmer in it. So, I thought, yeah, for summer I should try it out, but honestly, I don't, I mean, I don't really get the hot chocolate smell from it. I'm not really sure why people say that so much. I don't, I have a really, like, sensitive nose to, um to smells and I just I don't like I mean you guys know I love the vanilla cake I don't get the hot chocolate from this okay I just went and ate <laughs> with my friend who's like I'm here I want to go to lunch and I was like okay let me just stop in the middle of filming but the beauty of this is I can edit it and you guys would never have known the wiser had I not just told you but if you feel my energy kind of shift that's why anyways so okay just showed you the bronzer um then I picked up the sculptor makeup sponge I don't know. I was looking for the Beauty Blender. They didn't have it. This was the closest thing I could find. Um, blends foundation in hard to reach corners. Ow! I have a Soho one that I really like. I wanted to get the original. Um, oh my gosh, this feels so weird. This is weird. Um, so I don't know if that's really a Beauty Blender, but I guess it's a little bit more. I guess it's a sculptor. I don't know. I'm the, You know, the, that stuff is kind of just too fancy for me. I'm one of those girls who just, like, rubs my foundation in with either a blending brush or my hand. So, anyways, that is that. Um, so, moving on. Um, then I picked up this Kat Von D Locket. It's a tattoo concealer, which I don't have tattoos. I got it in medium 22. But the reason I liked it is because I was like, if this can conceal tattoos, it can obviously conceal all my little blemishes that is just impossible for me to conceal. Like, I cannot find a really full coverage concealer. Um, I haven't seen any reviews on it, but I figured it would obviously be a good thing if it can cover tattoos. And I heard the Locket Foundation is amazing. So I'm going to actually just kind of see if there's any freckles. Okay, so here on my arm. Well, I don't know. If, well, I don't know. I see, I see a scar on my arm, but then I don't see it when I look close. I see a little freckle right here, though, so I'm going to just, oh, my God, I almost don't want to waste this. Okay. It came, I just put, like, a very tiny amount out. I don't know if you guys can see it up there, but it's very thick, 
I mean, I don't know. I'm like that was the worst swatch ever. But it is very thick, um, just from that little bit I put out. So I think it's good for maybe not so much your under eyes because you don't want it to be too cakey. I mean, I wear a lot of concealer under my eyes, but this is so thick, I'd be a little hesitant to put it under my eyes. Um, and then I picked up the Hello Flawless Powder in Toasted Beige by Benefit. And they have them like laid out in the store so you can kind of match it to your skin tone as best as you can. The Sephora people are pretty helpful, but a lot of times the Sephora people don't match me right, so I don't really trust them. But this time I ended up did trusting them, so hopefully they're right. So it says Hello Flawless. I see Fashionista 804 use this all the time, and so I decided to pick it up. Um, she has oily skin like me, plus she said it's like full coverage powder. I don't know. We'll see. It's nice and matte. I like it. Um, I use loose powder to powder my face right now, and sometimes in my purse it just gets so messy. Um, and then I picked up this Buxom Lip Gloss. I don't know who I heard this from or where. I got it in the color Celeste. Um, someone, oh my gosh, I think it's the same girl who did the Kat Von D. I think her name is, oh my gosh, this is so bad because I watch her and I love her. I think her name might be Rachel. I don't Anyways, I did get this gloss. I just thought it was really pretty. It just reminded me of like a galaxy. I'm obsessed with glosses lately, as you can tell. So, um, yeah, this headband. I was trying to go for the Chelsea from Teen Mom look. Not working for me, is it? Okay, last bag from Sephora is, I gosh, I forget about some of this stuff. I picked up the mini emergency kit um, because my sister got, got it, and so I'm like, I want it too. Actually, I could probably read to you what's in it. Okay, so it has adhesive bandage, pain reliever, double-sided tape, breath freshener, mendy kit, depth of floss, clear nail polish, hairspray, emery board tampon, lip balm, clear elastic stain remover, nail polish pad, deodorant towelette, earring backs, and safety pin. So pretty much like everything you need in a case of an emergency. I thought it was great. It's like such a little thing. I thought it was great because like, you know, you never think, oh, I'm gonna need an earring back, but one day you might or someone else might, and then you're going to be the hero. Um, and then the final things I got, I actually tried all these out, and I actually put them back in the bag because I had to remember to haul them, but I can kind of give a little bit of a review on them, and unfortunately they're not a great review. Um, the first thing I picked up was the Urban Decay Flush Palette, which is the bronzer, highlight, and blush all in one. Oh gosh, these naked things have been disappointing me. The foundation disappointed me. The uh, basics palette disappointed me. This is just, I don't, they're not very pigmented and they're extremely awkward. You're supposed to do it all in like, well, I think they're all supposed to be in like one swipe or something. Well, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe that's the problem. This one's in one swipe. So I guess that's why I assumed this one was. But when I put it on, I did it in one swipe. But the problem is that the highlight is in the middle. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. I shouldn't have done one swipe. Maybe it works, but other than that, too, the pigment is not great, the color payoff. So I'll just do the blush. I mean, it's okay, but then when you put it on your skin, like here, I just put it on top of that foundation, the perfect, like you can't, it's like not visible at all, and it's completely off my finger now. So I don't know. I would say this is kind of a miss. I'm not, I don't return cosmetics. I know you can and whatever if you don't like them, but I think it's a little gross. I don't know what they do with them. I don't know. I just feel... I feel like I can always just use it on like an off day when I'm not seeing anybody. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's, I do. I use my bad makeup on off days. This is another one that oh, Michelle Fawn says she loved and one of her favorites. It's the Benefit Fine One One. Oh, you know what? I get it. I mean, I do sponsored videos and review videos, but it does, it is awful when you're sponsored by like every product you mention because you really, you know... I don't know. I think a lot of times people are not too picky with their product review. I don't know. Anyways, I shouldn't really talk because whatever, but I was really disappointed with this. This is one that you're supposed to do in one swipe, and honestly, guys, that's what you're going to get. And it's awkward. It's just like a stripe. It's really hard to blend. Um, I didn't love it. I did not love this at all. I mean... I don't know. Ugh. It's just awful. I just didn't like it. Um, and then I tried the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And honestly, I'm not like super disappointed with this, especially since I wear eyel false eyelashes. But it's nothing compared to the like Rocket Mascara. It's, you know, drugstore mascaras are better. It definitely doesn't make you seem like you have real false lashes. I, or it doesn't make it look like you have fa false lashes on. Like, no, it doesn't. I'm not like, I don't hate it. I just think my drugstore ones, like my telescopic and then that rocket one that comes in like the blue and pink tube are just so much better and they're just so much cheaper. So why not go for the cheaper one? But anyways, that is my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, by the way, this lighter one came in the Glenda pack, uh, palette. 
forgot to show you guys that. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy these hauls still. Uh, see what I picked out at Sephora. Oh my gosh, it's like, I look at it, this like little pile, it's like literally just a little pile right here. And I'm like, wow, that was hundreds of dollars I spent on that. And wow. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> that is going to do it for me. And until next time, here are my kisses for my fishies. That's you. Bye, guys.